Hey guys, just quickly before I start this video, I just want to say a quick disclaimer. I'm going to be mentioning, mentioning weight, like weight numbers in this video. So if you are triggered by weight, then, you know, maybe don't watch this video. And I'm also going to be showing some graphic pictures, um, like my body, you know, when I was at my lowest weight, um, things like my nails, like because my nails turned blue um, when I lost a lot of weight um, so I'm going to be showing some different kind of triggering pictures that may be uncomfortable for some viewers so just be aware and if that's not for you or you can't handle that kind of thing then excuse me just don't watch the video but anyway continue with the video hello everybody welcome back to my channel so I know we're in a bit of a different background and that is because Tom is sleeping right now in our bedroom and I really didn't want to wake him up. I just didn't want to wake him up, so I was like, you know what, we'll go into the spare bedroom and we'll film in there. And I don't imagine that this is going to be too long, this video, um, but I thought it would be an interesting story time. And it also kind of, oh, squeaky bed, also kind of brings a bit of awareness to my illness. Um, it is hard for me to talk about, but I feel like it's important that I talk about it because this is a major thing that happened in my life and if you guys have been following my journey that long then you will know how scary it was and those of you that are very close to me will know I honestly thought I was gonna die even my friends my close friends have said to me now they're like honestly like we were scared we thought you were gonna die too um, so basically I think I want to start by saying when you have an illness like gastroparesis I've lost a lot of friends, online friends mostly, to this illness and it's scary because not everyone gets the help and treatment that I've had so I'm really grateful for that um, but you know it is starving in a first world country um, because you know you hear about starving in third world countries where there isn't enough food and etc and you hear about crazy things like um, mothers selling their children for food and you know chopping their children's legs off and putting them in the streets to beg for food and it's just horrific but nobody talks about starving in a first world country when you have a disease. Um, I know I'm a bit glammed up to talk about this but this is just the makeup I had on today so I've just sat down with it on so kind of ignore my makeup but no one talks about starving in a first world country and diseases that make that a reality for some people you know you can be surrounded by food and no matter how much you eat no matter how much you do to gain weight you just can't um and this brings us to october last year so october 2018 i was admitted with severe severe malnutrition um I was the lowest weight I've ever been. If you guys get triggered by weight, then I'm sorry, but I'm about to mention numbers. But anyway, I was the lowest weight I have ever been. And that was five stone. I'm not really, I'll put what it is in kilos and pounds for other people. It was the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. My body was starting to shut down. My heart was weak. Um, my fingers were blue. My fingernails blue. I was so cold all the time. I had no energy. I had to use my wheelchair to get from my hospital bed to the toilet, which was literally from me to the camera is the distance I just couldn't do it and my body was giving up on me and there was a point where I wasn't sure if I was going to get TPN which is what I'm on now I have video on that so it will pop up on screen if you're interested but basically TPN is IV nutrition that I get if I'm going to show you that I get through my Hickman line which I shouldn't actually have tucked in I'm not meant to have it tucked in but TPN is yeah a form of nutrition that I get. This vein, this um, line goes, and it sits in a vessel at the top of my heart. Um, so this basically sits in my heart, and it delivers me pretty much life-saving nutrition every day, because I'm unable to get it any other way. Um, I've tried, you know, feeding tube feeding, which I do have a feeding tube, but I will have. There's, there'll be a video on my channel all about this, but 
you know, I used to have my feeds through my feeding tube and I used to have a nasal tube instead and then I got my surgical tube, which is that. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about those because, you know, that's, I have other videos on that. Um, but yeah, so basically I thought I was going to die. I thought I was just going to starve to death. I thought my body was going to shut down before I got the chance to start TPN. But luckily, thank God. I mean, I'm not a believer in God and that's just my choice. Please don't come for me. Um, but I honestly, like, you know, I know it's just a saying, like, thank God. But thank, you know, whoever's there looking out for me <laughs> up, up, up in heaven. Um, I'm not a believer of God itself, but I do believe that people we've lost go somewhere and then they watch over us. In that sense, I thank you for everybody who's been watching over me, but I also mostly, mainly, mostly, I don't know what the word is, thank my medical team because those doctors have studied years, you know, they studied medicine and, you know, you have people working in labs coming up with like treatments and what not you know 50 50 years ago 100 years ago if i was alive then i would be dead which scares me because that's how far we've come in the last 100 years like how far modern medicine has come and i thank modern medicine and i think thank my medical team for basically giving me the life-saving treatment that well without i wouldn't be here so i wouldn't be able to make videos with you guys so i'm so thankful for that So I guess this is just a bit of a really short story time, but I just wanted to put a bit of awareness out there that, you know, people can be starving in a first world country. And I think there needs to be a lot more awareness for things like this, because everybody knows about star starvation in Africa and all these third world countries. And I'm not saying that they're not relevant and I'm not saying that they shouldn't get awareness too, because they do. And millions and millions and millions of pounds and millions of dollars get sent over to these countries every single year. People are always donating. Um, but... There is people in those third world countries that may be like me. So, you know, sending them a box full of canned food or whatever it is, you know, that's not gonna help them. So I feel like more awareness needs to be put out to help people like me so that they can get the treatment that I can get so they can survive and thrive and live their lives. Yes, TPN, you know, it does limit your life. It doesn't mean to say I'm going to die tomorrow, but it might cut my life short by 20 years or, you know, whatever. I don't want to think about the numbers because anyone could die at any point. Freak accidents happen all the time, so I don't want to count my days like I am numbered because everyone is numbered. Everyone's days are numbered. Everyone has an expiry date. But there is people, children, that lives are cut short because of illnesses like mine, like gastroparesis, like intestinal failure. And I believe that they should get the chance to have the same treatment as I do. Yeah, I, just if you don't do anything, if you don't take anything from this video, please share it. Because I really want to get it out there. And I really want people to understand that people can be starving in first world countries. Is my line. And um, yeah, I know firsthand what it's like. It's so scary to feel to feel your body shutting down, to feel your body dying on you. And I'm 22, you know, I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't have ever had to experience that. It, it's, it was literally the most scariest thing I've ever, ever experienced. And my family and friends around me had to watch that happen to me. <laughs> it's just, it's awful. So um, if you're gonna take anything from this video, guys, please just, you know, Tell your friends, tell your partners, share it with your family, you know, share it with the world. I want people to know about gastroparesis and other, you know, disorders that prevent you from eating because there are many and I feel like people just don't know about it. So, um, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, different kind of video. Normally I'm a bit more upbeat and happy and I am, I am happy. I'm thriving. I have my life back thanks to TPN, but I just want to get more awareness out there. So, um, sorry, I feel like I've repeated myself a lot throughout this video, but um, I love you guys so much. I am so thankful for every single one of you. If you are new around here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And please share it. Um, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, wherever you want. Make sure you just share this video so people can understand what it's like for people like me and hopefully other people like me 
I hope I hope that you're watching this and thinking yes I'm not alone and yay we're getting awareness out there because that's what my channel is about yes I do other videos but my main goal is to show the world that you can live a life with chronic illness if people have the chance and you know they have the chance to receive medical treatment like me so you know hopefully by sharing this video it gets more awareness out there it gets more research like into this kind of illness and I just hope it helps people you know I just really hope it helps somebody if one person it, this video helps that you know that's I'd be happy <laughs> but um yeah if you like I said if you guys enjoyed the video thumbs up smash the thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you can get a notification every time I upload and I shall see you guys in my next video which hopefully will be a bit more upbeat Sorry, but um, I hope you enjoyed it and I love you all. Mwah! See you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>